What's up everybody, welcome to Coding with Chaim. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at building a dark mode switch. So I'm sure you've already seen this on many different websites or different applications that you probably use on a daily basis, where they might have some kind of toggle or some kind of switch that you can kind of click, and then you can sort of enable dark mode, or then you can kind of toggle back and go back into light mode. So we're going to be building exactly that in this video. But before we do that, I actually want to show you guys quickly a demo of what it is exactly that we're going to be building together. So take a look. So as you can see here on the screen, we kind of have this white background. We've got this sort of pink color. We also have this button that has a moon on it. And then we go ahead and we click on this moon. The moon now turns into a sun. The screen kind of goes dark and then the colors all change to kind of make sure that we have the correct contrast so that we can actually see the words on the sort of darker background. But effectively what we've now done is we've gone ahead and enabled dark mode. Now if we go back and now click on the sun, we now go back and we and re-enable light mode. And so effectively, that's exactly what we're going to be building. This is essentially just a toggle between going from dark mode to light mode. And I'm sure you've seen this in many different websites before. So we're now going to be building this together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using React and styled components to kind of make this work. So this time, instead of having to download any kind of files from the description box, you can literally just follow along with me step by step because I'm going to be starting from an actual empty editor and we're going to be working our way back up to having this exactly working as I've just shown you. So the first thing you want to do is navigate on over to any sort of folder where you're going to want to sort of add your project. I'm heading on over to Chaim with, or coding with Chaim slash projects. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and say MPX create react app. And then I'm of course going to call this project dark mode. So I'm going to hit enter, let that run. And I'll be back once that's done. Okay. So our react application is done installing. We can now go ahead and see the into dark mode. We're now in our very folder that we just created or that was just created for us by create react app. And now there's going to be two things that we're going to want to install. Okay. And those two things are going to be styled components and react icons. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter so that they can start installing. Okay. So now that that's done installing, let's go ahead and say code dot. We're going to open up our VS code editor in this very folder. Okay. So as you can see, we're now in the app.js file, which is going to be found under the source folder. And now we're going to start uh, with our imports. Okay. So the first thing we're doing here is we're going to be importing use state from react. And also you'll notice that we are not actually importing react from react anymore because uh, this is react um, create react app version four, which I believe comes with react 17. Let's actually just double check that really quickly. So yeah, this now comes with react 17. So therefore we no longer need to actually write import react from react. You can just start writing JSX in your files without actually having to import react. Only time you'll actually need to import react is if you actually try to use something directly off of react, like say react.fragment, or if you want to say like react.use state, but of course you can also just sort of name import them. So you don't necessarily need to do that if you don't want to, but that's totally besides the point, not the scope of this video whatsoever. Um, we're then going to be importing splash. That's going to be the component that we are going to be building soon. That's going to be found in a file called splash screen inside of a folder called components. And then we're going to be importing the theme provider from styled components. And now this theme provider basically is the magic sauce. This is what's going to mostly afford us the ability to kind of do what we want. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and create two themes. So we've got our light theme here. That's going to simply be an object. And then, um, we also have our dark theme which is again, is just an object. And as you can see, they're both referencing the exact same three properties. And those properties are going to be the page background, the title color, and then the tagline color. The only difference is when it's in light theme, we've got the white background for the page. When we're in dark theme, we've got whatever this is like a sort of darker, almost bluish gray for the page background. And then of course the other colors, the other uh, sort of keys are also going to be different depending on whether or not we're going to be in dark mode or in light mode. And then the next thing we're doing is we're going to be building up this themes object. That's, a ba that's basically going to be sort of a key value pair. So if you've got the light theme enabled, then you're going to be get, uh, getting the light theme object. And if you've got dark theme chosen, then you're going to get the dark theme object. And we're soon going to see how this theme sort of map is going to get used very soon. Okay. So now here's what we're doing. Basically what we're doing is we're taking this use state that we've just uh, imported from react and we're basically setting it to start at as light. So the fact that we were getting this theme variable from state, that's going to be initialized to the word light. Then we have this function called set theme, which is going to allow us to kind of actually set the state and the theme variable. And of course, that's what we're going to be using to kind of toggle between light and dark mode. And then what we're doing is we're pretty much wrapping our splash component in the theme provider. So this is kind of where the actual uh, scope of this video starts to take hold. So like I said, the theme provider is kind of the magic sauce that makes this happen. And this is exactly how it works. Essentially what you do is you wrap your entire application with your theme provider. And then what that's going to do is it's going to make the theme, whatever you're passing here to this variable or to this prop called theme. See the theme provider component from styled components actually has a prop called theme, which expects you to pass an object that has key value peers of CSS. And then what the theme provider is going to do is it's going to make all of those actual props or those CSS properties be accessible throughout your entire application. And then instead of referencing the actual color directly, you can reference them by variable. And we're very soon going to see how that's actually done. But from this point of view, first thing you need to do is kind of wrap your application using this theme provider, passing in whatever theme you want. So the flow will basically be something like this. Since in our case, the only application, the only sort of component for our entire application that we have is going to be the splash component. 
it's sufficient to only wrap the splash component using the theme provider. Now to the theme provider, we're basically gonna be passing this theme prop, which is gonna be equal to themes, this sort of map here of whatever theme is currently set to. So since at the beginning of the application, before you actually go ahead and click that button, what's gonna end up happening is the actual theme is going to be initialized to light. Then therefore what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna take the light theme, which is gonna be this one, and then that's what we're gonna be passing down to this theme prop, to the theme provider, and then that's what's going to be then accessible to us inside of our splash component. So now let's go ahead and see what the splash component actually looks like to see how we actually go ahead and access that very theme. So as we've said, the theme or the splash component will exist inside of a folder called components and a file called splash screen. So let's go ahead and create that file now. Okay, so we have our splash screen uh, file created. Let's go ahead and start writing the code that's necessary for this particular file. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here is I'm just basically knocking out the imports that this particular file is going to need. And as you can see, I'm importing these styled um, from styled components. And then since we also installed React icons, and I will totally say that installing React icons just for this is total overkill. It's a pretty massive library but it was the simplest way to kind of get us to work for this simple prototype for the sake of this video. Um, but basically we're gonna be importing the sun icon and they're gonna be importing a moon icon. Okay, so the next thing that I've done is I've actually went ahead and I've, been, I've actually uh, defined the splash component. It's going to accept props. So let's first take a look at what the splash component is actually going to be rendering. So as you can see, it renders this page component, which is going to be a styled component, which we've not created yet. And then it also render a container, a toggle and a title and a tagline. So every single one of these components here are going to be defined using styled components. The toggle component is the one that's gonna actually go ahead and call the onClick function. The onClick is going to be referencing this change theme function which we defined right over here. And then what this is going to do is it's basically gonna to check to see what the current theme is. So if we come back to the app component, we can actually see that besides we're passing the theme down to the theme provider, we ourselves are also passing the theme uh, piece of state down to the splash component. And the reason why we're doing that is here, in our change theme function, what we wanna do is you basically wanna to check to see what is the theme currently set to. If it's light, well then we're gonna go ahead and call the props.set theme function and setting it to dark. So again, this set theme function comes from this use state call right over here. So we're pretty much gonna be uh, passing in the dark word. Then otherwise, if it's not currently set to light, if it's currently set to dark, then let's go ahead and set it back to light. So now, Basically here we have this icon that we're trying to pass to our toggle. So this toggle is going to be that little button that we can go ahead and click on to kind of toggle between light and dark. So what we want to pass to this icon will of course depend on whether or not we're currently set to light or, or if we're currently set to dark. So if the theme is currently set to light, whether we're going to be displaying a moon inside of the button to, to sort of a, uh, a signal that clicking on that will kind of set you into dark mode. Or alternatively, if you're currently in dark mode, then we're gonna kind of set it to the sun to kind of indicate that by clicking on that, you can then go and get yourself back into light mode. So that pretty much takes care of everything that's happening inside of our actual component. Let's start taking a look at the actual styled components and see how they actually reference whatever's being passed down from the theme provider to kind of get this whole dark mode, light mode thing actually to work. Okay, so as you can see here, we've now defined the page component, the container component, the title, and then the tagline. Only thing we haven't defined yet is going to be the toggle, which we're gonna to get to momentarily, but this will already be enough to kind of start to see exactly what it is that we're doing by taking advantage of the fact that the theme provider is passing down a theme to us, which we can then access without having to actually reference the actual CSS properties, but rather we can reference the actual keys in that object that has been passed down. So as you can see here, for instance, on the page component, we're pretty much gonna be saying that the background color, instead of it being some sort of like blue, black, orange, green, whatever, we're actually going to be using this function. So we're, 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 we're effectively gonna be assigning a function. This function will be receiving props as an argument. And then what we can do is we can say props.theme. This theme will pretty much be referencing the theme that is being passed down by the theme provider. And then we're going to be referencing the actual key on our object. So the flow is going to be a little something like this, right? We've got the theme provider that's going to be uh, receiving one of these two objects, but the key point here is that both of these objects actually have the same properties on them. So in this case, the one that we're trying to reference right now inside of the page component is going to be the page background. So since this actual uh, object is getting passed down via the theme provider to our components, we can now say props.theme.page background, and then that's of course going to be referenced right over here. So we can say props, that's the function, we're receiving the props as an argument, and then we can say props.theme.background, then of course this is going to be different colors depending on what we're currently set to, which theme we're currently passing down. If it's light theme, then it's gonna be one color. If it's dark theme, we're going to be saying another color and all this is kind of getting passed down to us via the theme provider. And so this kind of idea will pretty much be the same for the title. As you can see here, we're referencing the color. We're defining this function that's going to be accepting props as an argument. Once again, again we're gonna be referencing the theme that's getting passed down to us. This time we're going to be referencing the title color because of course we're now we're dealing with a title component. And then we've also got the same thing for the tagline and then we're re referencing the tagline color uh, that's being passed down to us via this object. 
So the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and define the actual toggle button. Okay, so here's now the toggle button. As you can see, it's nothing more than a styled button. We're just gonna say that the cursor is equal to a pointer. We're just gonna give it some basic dimensions. And then here again, we're saying that the background color is gonna be equal to the title color. The color is going to be equal to the page background. And then I simply want there to be no outline when you click on it. And also one thing that I should point out is I didn't want it to kind of happen where you kind of uh, click the button and just snaps in a second to the other color. I kind of want there to be a bit of a transition. So to each one of these items that are actually having a difference between light and dark mode, I actually added the transition property to kind of transition, transition on all the different fields. Of course, in this case, it's only going to be the sort of other color or background color. And then I said that it should transition with ease. And that pretty much takes is all the code that, it, that is necessary to kind of get the sort of dark mode, light mode to actually work. Okay, so in order to get this application up and running, all we now need to do is simply go ahead and say yarn start. Okay, so now as you can see, we have come back to the same place we were before, except this time it's the application that we have built together. Let's go ahead and click on the moon. It beautifully transitions to dark mode. Let's go ahead and click on the sun and it goes right back into light mode seamlessly. Well, that does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week in another video. Perfect.